Okay, today I'm going to do a time-lapse coloring of a fairy from Selena Fenich's book called Fairy Magic. I will be using Ashley Nicole Woodless pencils and Prismacolor pencils. For her skin, I use a combination of light peach and peach. I always keep some tissues handy to wipe away the excess crayon or pencil, excuse me, so that it doesn't smear on the page. You want to take extra care when you're going around the eyes and the lips so that you don't have to try and really go over them thickly with the black or brown um, or the color that you want to do the lips. So I still do go over them, but you want to try and not have to do it real thick. So I don't go over it with the peach at all. I try and go around it and not hit it as much as possible. You want to try and not go over the lips and the eyes and the eyebrows with your peach. You want to try and go around it as delicately as possible. So when you are ready to color the lips, the eyes, and the eyebrows, they are clean of color. <laughs> doing the peach as the shading you start out by basically tracing the lines so what I'm gonna do is trace all her lines on her body in this peach and you can see it's just putting a faint different color to make the body stand out a little bit more <music> Once you're done with the skin and you decide what color you want to do your hair and your eyebrows, then you can go ahead and pick the color that you want to do, your hair and your eyebrows, and kind of make them match, and your lips as well. So I'm going to go ahead and choose some colors. I did forget to do one thing I usually do with the regular peach is I give them a little bit of blush with the peach and all I do with that is I do that in a circular motion on her cheek just very slight where the blush would be I also if you can see I did her eyebrows with the peaches I mean her eye lids with the peach as well and that made it look like she's got a little bit of eye shadow on as well, but it looks more of a natural color. And there, the, don't know if you can see the eye, eyelids and the cheek, which shows the eye shadow and the blush a little bit. So for her lips, I picked a bright pinkish color hard to see and for her hair I picked a jasmine color and if she had any nails showing I would make the nails the same color as her lips but she does not have any nails showing so I will not have to do that but that is something that I normally do this is just something I usually do when I'm coloring a bigger area with the same color is I'll do like the big area and then I'll sharpen my pencil and then I'll go in and do the edges 
and as you can see she has lines in her hair I am not uh, worried about coloring within the lines with this color because I will be doing highlights in her hair and that's when I will worry about the lines right now I'm just trying to get my base color down on her hair and then I will go back, touch up the edges, and then do the highlights. I had originally made a mistake when I colored her skin, and I colored something over here at thinking it was part of her body and it's part of her hair so I erased it and now I'm fixing it and the picture looks much better and makes much more sense to me now. I've been sitting here staring at it trying to figure out what the heck. <laughs> What I'm doing right now is I'm taking a dark brown and I'm doing highlights in her hair. didn't do her wings yet and now I've jumped to the outside is because I may use some gel pen on her wings and that takes time to dry so I don't smudge it so I'm gonna finish some other of uh, work with the woodless and the Prismacolor pencils and then I'll go back in and work on her wings So now that I did all the green, I'm going to go through with a darker green and do some shading and highlighting.
picture pretty much done except for her wings and what I'm going to do on her wings is I'm going to use some gel pen. That's why I saved the wings for last so that I don't smudge them as I'm coloring them.